I think I discovered what they're auctioning off right here on Norfolk Perspectives. And no, this is not me. But Darcy Weiss, you got to keep yours on. No. And Billy Sums, the auctioneer. Okay, good. good. I know the budgets are tight, so yeah, recycle these tight. noses. Thank you. Why do we wear those noses? What are we promoting well, here? Well, the Dart Center has its gala art auction coming up on October 6th called Under the Big Top. So it's a circus theme. Yeah. Oh. So it's sort of an excuse for adults to dress up and kind of get in the spirit of things. So we want people to dress and clowns and ringmasters and dancing girls and all that stuff. And then when they'll be loose with their paddles at the end of the night, right, Billy? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, yeah. so you're doing this because it's fun? Well, we're doing it to raise money. There the you Dart go. Center is a private nonprofit arts facility, so we rely on things like this auction to really get our money going for the year so we can do programs like Dart Smart. And that's the main cause, the main uh, benefit of this is the, the kids have a Dart Smart program. We work with at-risk children throughout the community, and this funds that program. So it's really important for us to get a good amount of money in right now so we have it for the following year. Okay. And the Dart Smart program is going to a little bit of... Dart Smart is an educational and community outreach program for at-risk children. Mm -hmm. We work with juvenile homes. We work with um, low-end uh, elementary schools, and we bring kids to the Dart Center. We kind of immerse them in art for a week or two at a time, the juvenile programs. It's just a way to bring art to children that the enrichment part that they wouldn't normally get, but this program is funded in large part through our fundraising efforts at the auction. Okay. Now, before you made me put that nose <laughs> on, I knew where you were located, but my brain is getting fuzzy. <laughs> so, where, <laughs> for the viewers' sake, where are you located? Because I walk through you guys all right. the time. Right. Well, we're in the Selden Arcade, which mm -hmm. is downtown between Main and Plume Street. It's going to be next to the Slover Library. We are Caddy Corner to MacArthur Memorial, all the places that are right around downtown. And we're gonna, about to have a new landmark put in on October 3rd. We have a brand new 14-foot stainless steel sculpture by uh, Rodney Carroll that's being installed. So people can really find us when they see that beautiful sculpture. They're at our front doors. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, now, we've got a couple, pe yeah. well, a piece of art and then a box. Right. So we use auctioneers like Billy to help us um, to have our guests bid on things. And the silent auctions are full of baskets like this one. They're thematic. This one's called Ringmaster and it's full of jewelry. Our board members take them on as a project. This one was created by Whitney Metzger. Um, so they put together these fabulous uh, baskets or boxes and we have a bid sheet out and it's a silent auction. So you can put your name on it and your bid number on it. And throughout the course of the first hour and a half of the evening, you may or may not win this by the end of the time limit, which is about okay. 8 o'clock. And then at 8 o'clock, we transition to a live art auction. And this is an example of a piece that's going to be in the live art auction. It's by Clayton Singleton. It's a part of his series called I Love You. And because of the under the big top theme, it's an elephant. Voila. Of course. Okay, Billy. I, got it. I have seen you at numerous uh, auctions that are charity auctions. I mean, because you, you're very generous with your talent and giving, mm. giving back. But when you're not doing charity auctions, you're also doing for real auctions. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we're um, we do a lot of private sector um, FF and E furniture, fixtures, equipment, business liquidation auctions, traditional auctions, real estate auctions primarily. Um, but our passion is and has been my personal passion has been working with nonprofits and uh, you know setting the bar and then raising it each year and, and making sure that the continuity as in the D Art Center. I think this is going to be my 23rd year of Long conducting time. this auction for the D Art Center. Um, goes off without a hitch, and we mm -hmm. raise a lot of money. Now, uh, I was challenging you in pre tape yeah. just kind of bringing a reality. I mean, periodically I get asked to pour wine. <laughs> no, the only time they gripe about my wine pouring is if I don't pour enough. But, you know, the pressure's on you because it's a fundraiser. Oh, yeah. yeah. So well, if you come this year, I promise you don't have to pour it, but I will expect you to drink it. Because that, oh, yeah, that's the secret that's weapon. A, that's the secret weapon at a fundraiser auction. And, um, and in the Art Center's case, they always have a fantastic uh, food and wine venue. It's included in your ticket. Yes. Um, fantastic food. I mean, it is a, a, a must-attend event. Yeah. And people there have a ball. Um, and I, I got to tell you that it's one of the most fun auctions that I do every year. I look forward to it every year. Uh, the, the artists are just phenomenal at the D Art Center. Their studios are there. People mm -hmm. can come and see them. 
you know, at the auction, a lot of the artists are actually in their studios answering questions about the art that they have consigned into the annual auction. Okay. It's just a great opportunity. And of course, we also do, for the educational program, a fund a need which is an all-cash donation, we start the live auction with that. And it does phenomenal. Every year there's a big cash infusion from that. The people who come to these auctions sometimes don't want or need to buy any art. I was going to say, if I have this compelling right. urge to give the yeah. Dart Center yeah. And this 10 allows bucks. you to give at the auction. And mm -hmm. you raise your bid, paddle, and at whatever level you feel comfortable with. It's wonderful. Okay, well, there, you just kind of subtly, I mean, I've heard people say, keep your hands in your pocket. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why we give you a bid paddle. <laughs> so if you don't raise the bid paddle. Right. You don't bid. But you can write them on silent auction. The ticket sales also help us. Everything helps. It really does. Yeah. And he was mentioning it is a fun night. We have gourmet gang catering it. We have an open bar. We have a juggler. We have a clown. We have balloon makers. I mean, it's a, fun, it's a night for adults to really kind of tap into their inner creative child and have mm -hmm. a good time with it. How are ticket sales going? They're going well. We certainly have tickets available. But they're they better, $50 they dollars if soon. they buy them in advance, and they're $60 on October 6th. And uh, we have tables available as well. So we have sponsorships. Any, if anybody wants to get involved, just contact us. We'd be glad to work with you. But it is a, it is a fun time. In fact, it I think sometimes so you've got to kind of elevate the voice to be heard oh, over yeah, the din. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get I get that. How do you I, get people's attention? Well, I, I turn the volume up on the PA system usually. <laughs> and, and actually, when I, once I start with the auction, you really get into the ambiance and the, the, you right. know, the cant, and it's, it's wonderful. And the bidding between yeah. tables gets really fun. Yeah. It's a, okay. it's a good time. Now, so how would you how would you go about starting a bid on that? Well, uh, you know, we're going to hopefully get at least what the artist would would ask for that piece of art, and it, and it's such a theme. This is more or less the theme art of the night. Look at right. the big top, and we've got right. you know jumbo and I love you, and what more could you want, Bob? I mean, we don't want if you don't yeah. want it for your house, maybe you want it for a corporate office or a business. Right. I mean, there's always a place that you can find a home for great art. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Starting at. Well, this one has a retail price of $2,300 on it. Okay. So we'll start at maybe $1,500 and work our way up and hopefully work your pass way up. that. Yeah. But so if somebody offered $1,000, we would start it. And you would at we, least get it started. Oh, yeah, just to get it started, and then we go from there. Okay, so, so the first is the first bid the hardest one to get? Yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> Other times, there are people who are just waiting for yeah, that piece, and they'll jump flying. right into it. You know? And, um, and they know that someone else would probably outbid them, so they bid higher. Because it's a philosophy. It's a, how, do, how does this buyer win and that better lose? You know, it's a... Don't give away too many trades. That's right. <laughs> cool stuff. Well, thanks. October? Yes. October 6th. 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 Saturday. Not next, this Saturday. Next, next Saturday. Saturday. At the Dart Center. Come on down and Please do. Yeah. Call us. Look at our website. Call do us 625-4211. Hottest ticket in town. There Hottest we go. Hottest ticket in town. Okay. We want to hear from you and let us know what your ticket is. Give us a holler at 664-6510. And as usual, it's a wonderful time to be in Norfolk.